Well, 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 hello there people, welcome back to my channel and today I am doing some fault finding on the SLS system on my E50 AMG. This particular car here has ADS suspension so it is an adaptive dampening system. The main system in the back is pretty much a conventional SLS system but it does have some additional valves for the struts. But um, so I am dealing with this bumpy ride and I'm crossing my fingers that it is the pressure accumulators uh, for the SLS system that makes the ride feel a bit bumpy and uh, just not good at all. So I do not have any diagnostic tools at the moment so I can't fault find the uh, ADS system on a computer. So I am doing like a visual inspection. I am checking the accumulators here, and they're located here, as you can see. You have a high pressure line there and a line on the side. It's fastened with three nuts. You take the accumulator out from the inside of the car, and now I have released the pressure here to take out the sphere and to check if the diaphragm inside the accumulator is bad or not. Let's take him down and see what we find. So, people, here it is. I am really confident that this is the culprit for the bumpy ride and how you check these spheres or pressure accumulators is pretty easy if you would look through these you would see a diaphragm that is located up here and there's a metal connection or a metal part in the middle that I guess they use when they fill them with nitrogen. When these break, it blows the diaphragm through and you get a hole. There's no diaphragm up here no more. So I just want to show you this first. There you can see that green thingy there. That is the center of the diaphragm. So let's find out how far I can push this down. And you really have to be careful. You're not gonna push anything down like with sharp edges. So I'm just using this zip tie and I'm guiding this down there and I can stick it this far down. And now I see here. Okay, it's, it's blown. I get all this down, so that means it's going all the way to the bottom. So my accumulators are bad. And you can see the comparison. So the diaphragm is blown. That is friggin' awesome. Now I'm gonna remove the second sphere. And uh, the parts number is 140-328-0215. So it's a genuine one. And this is the left-hand side one. So uh, let's have a look. And then we take our zip tie and we stick it in carefully, just goes in like this. And this is the left hand side one. Broken. That's how you can find out if your pressure accumulators for the SLS system is bad. That is a fix. I had two broken pressure accumulators for the SLS system in the rear end of my E50 AMG. And uh, now it's gonna be a nice ride. Remember to also put on that spacer that's here. That's a ceiling spacer. You can see this one doesn't have it. It's a 124 number, 9870940. So that's how it is. Parts number 